Okay, now saya akan sum up uh, untuk step 2. So, dalam step 2, apa yang awak akan buat ialah awak akan uh, menerbitkan, going to derive the system of linear equations using unknowns M. Okay, for this M, so awak akan ada few M's. Okay, you look back at your graph. Okay, okay. so dalam graph yang saya pakai example ni, so you ada M0 at the initial data, your M1, M2, and M3. But what you need to remember, at M0, at the initial point, your value of, the value of M0 is equal to 0. You mean that over here, the value is 0. Okay. And at the last point, Mn, so for this case, my last point is at M3, the value also will be 0. So, this is uh, the two things that you need to remember. Just replace the M0 equal to 0 and M3 equal to 0. So, meaning that for this case, for this uh, linear equation, non-linear equation, so you have to derive the system of linear equation formula that contains M1, M, and M2 as unknown values. So, you akan ada dua graph, dua system of linear equation, dua uh, linear equation that going to form into one linear equation, one system of linear equation that contain the unknown value of M1 and M2. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to develop your table. Okay, uh, so I... I Usually, we'll use table lah because it will be much more easier for you to understand. Okay. Well, so, when you're going to start is actually, okay. As I mentioned, you can start by K0. Okay. At K0, so, develop the linear equation first. Okay. Remember this equation? Okay. So, saya ada beri you punya the formula in the step 2. Uh, on my slide page 18. Okay. So to develop the system linear equation, you have to use this formula. Okay. What you need to do is just replace the value of k. So right now you are at the k equal to 0. Okay. Meaning that your linear equation will be hash 0 m 0 plus 2 is m2. Hash 0 m2. Okay. Times hash 0 plus Hash 0 plus 1 is 1. Okay. M. Sorry, I just see that. Okay, sorry. So this formula will be hash 0, M 0. This is M 0, M k, hash k, M k plus 2 hash 0 plus hash 0 plus 1 is 1. M1 plus hash 1 M0 plus 2 2 equal to B 0. Okay. This is the formula. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, the class. Okay. So, simplify. You're going to uh, replace the value of hash 0, m0, hash 1, m1, and b0 according to the value of hash k, hash, and b that you get in the step 1. Okay, this one. Okay, so simplify this table. So, I can simplify my, uh, so simplify my linear equation. Yes, okay. So, hash 0, hash 0 is 1. 1, M0, I mentioned here, initial point must be 0. Plus 2, hash 0 is 1, plus hash 1. Hash 1 is 1, okay, M1, we don't know yet, okay, plus hash 1 is 1, M2 also we don't know, 
equal to B, 0 is 0. So, this is one. This is the equation. Okay, so just simplify 0 yeah. plus 2 times 2 is 4M1. 4M1 plus M2 equal to 0. Okay. This is your first linear equation. So, what you have here is actually, you are the tadi M0, which is 0. M1, you don't know. M2, you don't know. So, you have to find this two unknown. Okay? But later, okay, we have to compute so first. Okay, you akan stop bila you dapat semua M value yang you nak. So, dalam punya graph ni, so, saya dah mention you ada sampai M3. Okay, but until uh, using the K equal to 0, you cuma sampai ke M2. Faham ni, dia kena tambah lagi satu lah. Okay, so, tambah yang uh, when K is 1. So, at K is 1, again, using this formula, okay, kita akan masukkan nilai ke dalamnya, menggantikan K equal to 1. Okay. When K is 1, so hash 1 M1 plus 2 hash 1 plus hash 1 plus 1 is 2 M1 plus 1 is 2 plus hash K plus 1 uh, 1 plus 1 is 2 M1 plus 2 is 3 equal to BK is B1 Ok And then replace all values eh, as uh, you know as you have done earlier hash 1 Hash 1 is 1, M1 is, we don't know, okay, plus 2, hash 1 is 1, plus hash 2 is negative 1, M2 also you don't know, plus hash 2 is negative, eh, sorry, hash 2 is 1, so hash 2 is 1, this is 1, okay, M2, plus hash 2 is 1, M3, you don't know. No, sorry, M3 is 0. Eh? I mentioned before, M3 is 0. Equal to B1 is negative 12. Right? So, simplify. This will be M1 plus 2 times 2 times M2. Meaning that 2 times 2, 4. M2. Okay. Plus 1 times 0 is 0 equal to negative 12. So your second linear equation formula will be this one. Okay. So now you have the two set. Okay, over here. So what you have here is M1. You tak tahu. You also have M2, which is unknown, and you have M3, which is 0. Okay, so since you dah complete sampai M3, the maximum M, so you dah boleh guna these two linear equation, eh, and then you akan selesaikan menggunakan kaedah metric, eh, yang you belajar dalam chapter 3. Okay, so saya akan sambung. Untuk kaedah metric. Okay, now kita sambung for step 3. So, in step 3, from the step 2, you have two linear equation, right? So, you're going to use the two linear equation and form it as a one system of linear equation. And you're going to turn it into a metric solution. So, the two linear equation that you have is over here, okay? The first equation, 4M1 plus M2 equal to 0. The second one is M1 plus 4M2 equal to negative 12. So, kita transform it into metric for our form formation. So, this will be the metric for the equation. So, I will use, and you can use any suitable method, 
Okay, but in this case, saya akan pakai the most simple method which is the cost elimination method. And to find the value of M1 and M2, okay, using the elimination method formula. Okay, so, recall back your cost elimination method, okay. In cost elimination method, you can eliminate the value kat bawah sini. You have to leave only one value in the second formula so that you can buat backward solution yeah, to get the value for M2 and replace into the first equation to get the value for M1. So, elimination method said that you have to use negative, okay, this one, 1 over 4, okay, times R1, R1, plus rho 2, replace rho 2. Okay, and then, just get your calculator. Okay, create here, this formula, and eh, into your calculator. So, what is A for the first row? A is 4. B is 1. The value will be 0. So, kat sini kita dah 0. Okay. Go to second uh, column. Just tekan calculate again. A is 1. B is 4. The value will be 15 over 4. Okay. And then, tekan calculate lagi. When A is 0, B is negative 12. Okay. The value will be negative 12. Okay. And then, the first equation, kita just copy back. Okay. Now, you dah tinggal satu value kat sini. So that you can find the M2 value using the backward solution. Okay, using the backward solution, 15 over 4 M2 equal to negative 12. So M2, you akan dapat okay, negative 12 times 4 over 15. Okay, so... M2 equal to negative 16 over 5. And use this value. Replace dalam first equation. So, you akan dapat value for M1. So, for M1 plus M2 equal to 0. M2 is negative 16 over 5 equal to 0. So, you can dapat kat sini M1 equal to 4 over 5. So, this is the value for M1 and this is the value for M2. Now, bila you dah ada kedua-dua value ni, what you need to do is okay, you go back to my slide. Okay. You akan gunakan step 4 Replace the value that you know, M1, M2, ke dalam supply equation yang you akan uh, uh, develop yeah, the supply equation later.